everyone, Danielle here today with a very exciting video for you. I am so happy to finally be able to share with you something that I have been working like crazy on for the past, gee, almost a year now. And it's finally the time for me to share this with you all. And this big secret that I've been keeping for so long is that I've been working on designing and creating my own line of photopolymer clear stamps. And they're going to be called Neat and Tangled, just like the blog. The name has a lot of personal meaning to me, so I wanted to carry it through into this new, um, this new chapter of my life. And so here are some of the stamps that you're going to be seeing this week. I have a full week lined up. We're going to do a Monday through Friday release. Every day is going to have a video as well as a whole lot of really inspiring cards from some of the most talented ladies out there. And so I hope that you will join us each day. It's going to be a lot of fun. So lots of cards, lots of videos, lots of giveaways. Um, and they're going to be listed at the bottom of this post. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. What I wanted to do for you with each of the stamp sets was stamp them, um, just stamp them out onto a standard five and a half by four and a quarter card base. I know that when I buy stamps online, it's really nice to not only be able to see them um, in the in the packaging but also stamped out either on a card as a sample or even just stamped onto a card base like this so I can get an idea of the scale. Sometimes it's hard or I'm a little disappointed if I buy a stamp and it's not quite the size that I was expecting. So what I'm going to do is for today we're going to be looking at this set here. This is called Fresh Blooms. This is a set that was definitely inspired by my garden. I am not the best at gardening, but I do like to try and I do enjoy the flowers that I have success with. And so that's what inspired um, these stamps here. And you'll see that these two here are pretty much the same uh, flower, just different scale. You have another flower down here, some insects and leaves and some vines and a couple sentiments. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp them all out for you and just kind of tell you too the logic behind why I designed the stamps the way that I did. Because I did have a lot of um, intention with how I, how I created these. So I'm just going to start with the biggest, um, the biggest flower in the set. And these flowers were sort of inspired by the clematis plants that I have in my front yard. I actually have great success with these flowers and they're really deep purple and they're just some of my favorites. I love the long kind of slender petals and so I wanted to recreate that in the stamp. And all week you'll see me, I'll be using the Versafine Onyx Black just because that's my favorite go-to black ink. Um, these also work just as well with the Memento ink if you're going to be using them for coloring or if that's um, the ink that you prefer to stamp with. So that's the larger of the two. And then like I showed you um, just kind of quickly in the intro, there's another flower that looks almost the same. It's just about identical. The only difference is that it's um, smaller in scale. And so I'll go ahead and stamp that for you right next to it so you can get an idea. And these stamps are made from, they are photopolymer, not acrylic, and they are made from the highest quality photopolymer that is available on the market. So they're not going to yellow or get hard. They also stamp beautifully. Uh, I haven't even conditioned any of these stamps. I just stamp them straight from the package and they work perfectly. So really great high quality made right here in the USA so you know you're getting a good product. So these are the two flowers that you see. Uh, one is larger than the other. It's nice because you can cut them out and layer them on top of each other. So I went ahead and I didn't color it or anything because I didn't really have the time, but I did just want to cut it out for you and show you that you can place the smaller one right on top of the larger one to get a really nice layered look. And I just put a little black pearl right in the center there. The other nice thing is that you can layer these kind of by themselves and you'll see that in the card in one of the cards below. You could just take the large one and maybe color and cut two of them out and place it so that one on top of the other so that the petals um, just kind of shift it and rotate it so that the other petals underneath will stick out in these spaces here. And like I showed you here, you could always take the smaller one and pop it on top of the bigger one so you can get lots of effects. And I made these like this because I know I like to color and cut and paper piece and get that kind of layered look, especially if I'm doing a really clean and simple card to make this really pop and be the focus. And so hopefully you'll be able to achieve the same look and you'll enjoy that. Um, you have the option to do that. 
there's a third flower in the set and I love lilies and I love tulips. They're probably my two favorite flowers. I just remember my grandmother used to have them in her garden growing up and, and I always love them and they bring back happy memories. So this flower is kind of one that I just made up. Um, I don't know, maybe there's a flower that kind of looks like this out there, but it's kind of a hybrid, a cross between a tulip and a lily. And it's just a really fun, different flower. And it's a nice, a nice size, so it could be the focal point of a card for you. You could do stamp multiple ones and make a little garden. The nice thing about these two, you don't just have to layer them. You could do like Linda did in her card below and make a whole bunch and kind of make a nice arrangement of flowers so you have a variety of sizes. So you have your three different flowers that you're going to get in the set. And then I designed a couple, um, a couple little vines that you can use as well. And so I'll just go ahead and stamp those for you too. So these are nice. You can um, use these to create vines and there's also leaves that I'm going to stamp in a minute. So you can arrange some leaves on there. And if you are interested in stamping kind of the mirror image of that, you could always do so by reverse stamping. And I'm not going to do it right, he um, right now, but I'm going to link you to a really great video tutorial that will show you how to do reverse stamping. So if you did want to, for your card, get the mirror image of these vines, like on the, if you wanted to do the opposite up here, you could always do that. The nice thing about these swirls or vines too is that you don't necessarily have to use them with the flowers. You could use them on their own to create some neat uh, background patterns or instead of using it as a vine, you could just use it as a swirl. This is the second one you're going to get and you could use it the same way, kind of the same orientation as this one. Or this one's kind of neat because you can stand it up vertically like this and you could always um, just kind of perch your flower right up on top there and add some leaves so it would look like a stem. And like I said you could always just you could selectively stamp maybe only ink up this swirled part and stamp it over and over to create a neat little background for you. Ever since I took that stretcher stamps online card class I've really been trying to look at my stamps in different ways just to get more uses out of them. So those are your flowers and vines and then I'm going to give you two leaves in the set too, one smaller, one larger. This is the larger of the two, just so you can have some variety. And when I made the stamps, I tried to make the width of the lines a little bit thicker so that if you like to cut and color and paper piece, if you're, you know, fussy cutting, you don't have to worry too much about compromising the image once you stamp it and start cutting it out because I know sometimes if an image if the outline is really thin sometimes when I'm fussy cutting I um, I cut a little too close and it kind of messes it up but with these images you have a nice width of the stroke of your images and so you don't have to worry so much about when you're fussy cutting um, cutting too close or cutting off part of the image so those are your flowers leaves and vines you're also going to get two little um, insect friends. I love ladybugs. Whenever one lands on me I always think good luck. I have good luck so I included a little ladybug. Oh, it would help if I stamped it all the way. So there's your little ladybug and that was my fault. I messed up. I didn't push down hard enough. I'll do another one so you can see. And I'll stamp it over here just so you can kind of get an idea of the scale next to the flowers. And like I said, this was my fault because I didn't really push down. Um, here's the ladybug. It look, I think it would look really cute if you made the flower and then maybe cut out a ladybug and kind of perched it up on the petal there. And then the last little image you're going to have is this cute little bumblebee. I don't really like bees. I'm actually allergic to bee stings, but this guy's pretty cute, so I can't be mad at him. So there's the little bumblebee. Again, a nice size, works well with the flowers, either the small one or the large one. It's kind of, they're kind of scaled nicely. And in this same set, you're going to get two sentiments. And these are kind of just everyday happy sentiments. The first one you'll get says happy day. And if you have a block like this with the um, grid lines, or if you have one of those ruler block, acrylic blocks, it's really nice because you can just line it up with the bottom of the 
font, and by font I mean my handwriting, and go ahead and stamp and you'll get a nice straight sentiment. And I'm going to put that down, down here. And the sentiments are handwritten. If I were to write happy day on your card, that's exactly what it, was look, it would look like. It's just my handwriting, so hopefully it's nice enough. It's kind of like a cross between cursive and print. And I'm sure it would drive my second grade teacher crazy because she taught me cursive. And to be honest, I don't think I could write in regular cursive um, if I had to. And then you're going to get another sentiment, and this is Hello Beautiful. And I would say this is definitely more of a feminine um, sentiment. You know, might not be putting that on a masculine card. But it's still nice, and it goes well with the really pretty flowers. And the happy day is nice because it could be happy anything. Happy birthday, happy wedding day, um, just kind of a thinking of you card, maybe graduation, or if they had some big event going on. It's just a nice kind of everyday sentiment. You don't have to necessarily use it for, you know, a birthday or anything like that. So that's the first set that you're going to be seeing this week. Oh, my lights just flickered. Um, but that is called Fresh Blooms, and it is the first of six. I'll be back tomorrow with two stamp sets because they actually work together really nicely. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching the video today. I hope that you like the stamps that you've seen so far, and you'll come back every day this week. Don't forget to check out all of the really beautiful cards that are shown below, as well as make sure to enter the big giveaway today, which is I'm going to be giving away one of each of the six stamp sets. So if you enter today, you're going to win all six of the sets that are being released this week. All you have to do is comment below, and you can also get extra entries by following us on Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, all of those things. Once you start following us on those different social media sites, just come back and leave another comment to be entered again to win and I'll be drawing the winners on Friday and I'll be announcing them on Friday as well. So thanks for stopping by and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has helped me so far getting this started, especially making projects and helping getting the website up and running. Um, this is really a dream come true and I'm going to stop talking before I start crying but I'm really excited to have you guys all here and sharing in this big adventure with me. So I'll see you all tomorrow.